Hi there, my name is Madeline Holler. I'm the Communications and Marketing Executive of Boise U Subscription Service. Boise State Public Radio is a Southern and Central Idaho's nonprofit. It is listener supported and it is also an NPR member station. Um, it's currently reaching the region's metropolitan and rural areas, so it does have a wide reach. Currently, they have a nine layer support model in place, and that includes memberships, monthly giving, broadcast society, planned giving, stocks and securities, vehicle donations, matching gifts, business partners. However, there is a 10 layer missing that we as a group have identified, and that is Boise U. We have found that there is a correlation between college students and podcasts. There was an article published earlier this year by a group called Scripted, and the article is what the data says about marketing to college students. Um, and in that article, it said that the most college students currently are millennials, and they happen to be a huge target audience for marketers, so we should not sign them off yet as a quote-unquote cash cow um, and viable audience to outreach to. With a strategic shift in audience intention, we feel that there is revenue opportunities, uh, but also opportunities to further community partners, as well as broaden a very much set in place audience, which um, for Boise U State Radio has been very broad. So we would like to see more structure moving forward um, with a concentration in college students. And by doing this, we are going to be promoting inclusivity and innovation, which is something that is very important to millennials today. And again, with this opportunity, um, it is going to change the face of Boise State Public Radio for the better. For value, in 1986, Boise State Public Radio was known as a student-run college station. And today, we do recognize it as a professionally operated public radio station. And the great thing about this is that there are grassroots, grassroots that we can visit back to. And we would like to definitely do this today in 2019. Go back to those roots of being that college run station um, to identify what it was that made students interested in Boise State Public Radio, but more so why they invested their time, because as they say, time is money. Um, and we have seen that millennials do value three very upright things, and that is convenience, affordability, and variety. With Boise U subscription service, we feel that that can be done in a viable way. There are underserved local audience, um, so to speak, and by instituting Boise U, that is giving a solution to not only the affordability aspect, uh, but being more prone to reach out to local media and be more in tune with that. And there will be an expansive digital offering with Boise U. We are going to be doing this through a mobile app. There is going to be on-air and off-air podcast access, personalized playlist opportunities, social sharing options, exclusive member events, discounts, and various networking and workshop opportunities. So not only is it feeding into being in tune with local media, but it is also very much fulfilling for the college student who is paying this uh, student budget friendly price, which we will get into. The Boise U subscription service is equated to two cups of coffee a week at Starbucks, and that is going to equal a monthly subscription. We feel that with this model, there will be gained millennial interest across the board. So there will be a heavier audience retention rate, um, but there will also be the opportunity for underwriting revenue to increase. And again, local media will remain chief in Boise, Idaho. And with the emphasis on hyper-localized media, uh, this will be more important than ever to keep those connections around. The business model is that the funds are going to be allocated initially to app development and digital operations development. We feel these are 
two places that are going to need hands on deck because with app development, the Boise U app is going to be vital uh, for digital operations. We do want that paywall like form to be available on websites um, and other digital mediums as well. Of course, there is going to be a budget for marketing and communications as well because this is a new program. Um, with that being said, we want to tap into social networking sites like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat to be able to reach out to our target audience. Um, so then it will eventually become a word of mouth situation. We like to think that this is going to be an opportunity that both maximizes but also monetizes affordability because again honing in on that student budget friendly price um, it is going to be maximizing cash flow opportunity but at the same time it's also going to be monetizing it in a way that is affordable it's an attractive price and it is something that the average college student can stomach um, but not just college students but truly all around, anybody who has an interest in public radio um, and wants those additional benefits will see that $9.99 is a very small price to pay for all of the added benefits. And um, as far as the college concentration goes, we would really like to target this firstly to undergraduates uh, because again, they are that younger millennial population. However, we will be seeing some interest for graduates and we do hope that will continue as um, this program grows as well. For the marketing plan, we're going to specifically just go into Boise State University. We want to start um, with a university that is local, that we already know has an interest involved because again, they were that college student-led organization. So again, honing in back to the grassroots. Um, and we would like to see this eventually span out to other local universities as well. But Boise State University will be first on our watch. Um, with a paywall-like structure, um, and again, that digital marketing aspect, we feel that there will be substantial interest shown. Um, we are also going to instigate advertisements and newsletters and then SEOs because we do want people to be easily accessed to this information and this opportunity. For competitors, there are some potential competitors out there. Uh, a few local stations, KRBX, K2280K, KTHI, K2N8CN, KIDO, KBOI. Uh, they do have different structures as far as content and finances go. They are more freeform content and they heavily rely on volunteer contributions. However, we do feel that their strength of having heavy listener projection and retention is something that we would also like to see at Boise State Public Radio. Um, where their weaknesses are, that's our advantage. Their weakness is hyper-focus on just one sector of the industry. And the great part about Boise State Public Radio is that there is a variety. We do have some concentrations, but our reach is very much wide and the content that we produce is wide spanning as well. So with our new niche audience, which would be these college students through Boise U, we are going to be creating the opportunity to really allow them to be the marketers as well um, after their experience with Boise U. For the management team, we have our CEO, Erica Kriegel, our interim CFO, Erica Whitten, and marketing and communications is myself. Sales and revenue is Erin Whitten, and research is Zachary Matheson. Uh, we all have a background in journalism and mass communication, and we were all college students as once. So we feel that this is something that hits home because of the industry that we're in, how competitive it is, uh, but also the need to be innovative and really be in touch with the digital age, which is what we're experiencing today. And again, we're seeing that this affordability, the $9.99, is going to go far because we do understand college is expensive and it adds up. Financially, with just a little bit over 100,000 monthly subscribers, we're going to hit that $1 million gross income. Uh, the current underwriting that we're seeing right now is 20% total revenue. That puts us at about $800. $100,000. Um, $300,000 of that underwriting revenue is left, um, so that is something that we would like to see stretch. And again, with minimal startup costs, this is a very viable program. Truly optimizing Boise Public Radio, the Boise U mobile app is going to take it to that next level, the next level of millennials and the next level of the digital age. Um, with Boise State University being a tier two university, there's 
going to be over 20,000 projected to subscribers that we will be seeing initially. Um, $200,000 in the first month is what that would equate to. And it is viable and permissible to say that double or, or tripling by month six is something that can be done. Um, this will lead to future subscription innovations and content development is definitely something that we want to see in a local state organization like Boise State Public Radio. So through Boise U, we feel that innovation, diversity, inclusivity, and overall affordability and convenience is going to change the face of Boise Public State Radio as we know it.